Gladys Allward was born in London, England in 1902. At the age of 28, Gladys's life changed forever. Gladys chose to dedicate her life to serving God and others and knew in her heart that she wanted to be a missionary to China. Gladys faced many obstacles as she stepped toward the calling placed on her heart by God. When Gladys was 26 years old, she entered a missionary school in London called the China Inland Mission Center. Gladys was unable to complete the exams, but persevered in her calling. Gladys worked nights and weekends to save money for her trip. She wasn't able to save enough money for ship fare, so she chose to take the Trans-Siberian Railway. This was a very dangerous way to travel, especially for women, but with her determination and God's grace, she arrived safely in Yangshuang, China. Being a foreigner and a woman in China was challenging. The Chinese people did not trust her or want to learn from her. Gladys was led to a woman by the name of Mrs. Jeannie Lawson, who had been serving as a missionary in China. Jeannie and Gladys worked together at an inn, providing clean lodging, good food, and Bible stories to travelers. Gladys learned a lot from serving with Jeannie, and her consistent presence began to earn the trust of many Chinese people. After serving as a missionary in China for 50 years, Mrs. Lawson passed away. In China, many children without parents were bought and sold like slaves. Gladys knew these children needed God's love and care, so she began rescuing these children, and the inn became a shelter and an orphanage. War broke out in China, which threatened Gladys and her work with the orphans. Gladys would face one of her biggest challenges, leading 100 orphaned children to safety. Gladys was alone in her mission, but she trusted in Jesus to guide her way across 100 miles of mountain territory. After 12 days of walking in the mountains, an obstacle appeared, a river with no easy way to cross. The children began praying and knew God could help them. Not long after they prayed, an abandoned boat appeared that was floating down the river and they were able to cross the river to safety. Gladys Allward answered the call on her life to love others, travel to a foreign country, and share God's goodness with people who did not initially welcome her. Gladys walked in love with the Chinese people and eventually won their hearts. Her strength and faith were stretched, but God's love in her did not fail. Giving, being kind, and laying down your life to help others comes from a heart that's full of God's love. Gladys Allward lived a life of never-ending love and brought peace and hope to many Chinese people. That's what makes Gladys and her story today's real deal. Thank you.